this Friday, the only thing more surprising... It's your old friend, Ron Burgundy. ...than how this guy ended up our Person of the Week... Are you serious? ...is why. And just wait till you see what he has in store for Diane when she interviews <laughs> him on World News with Diane Sawyer on ABC. Hello to our fans online, I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Thursday, December 5th. Fast food workers in 100 cities from coast to coast plan to walk off the job today. They're demanding a $15 an hour minimum wage and the right to join labor unions without retaliation. President Obama says he'll push Congress to boost the federal minimum wage, currently $7.25 an hour. He disputes conservative claims that it would cost jobs. Mexican police have recovered a stolen truck carrying a load of highly radioactive cobalt-60. It's used in cancer treatments. The highly toxic cargo was found dumped nearby. It's believed the thieves had no idea what they had, and they are probably dying from that intense radiation they were exposed to. Investigators say it could take two days to safely get the cobalt-60 back into a container and dispose of it. Well, a brutal snowstorm that shut down schools and businesses from the Rockies to the Midwest is finally tapering off, but a brutal Arctic blast is now blowing through, threatening the south with freezing rain. The entire state of Montana is dipping below zero. People across northern Minnesota are racing to dig out from up to two feet of snow before plunging temperatures turn everything into ice. New York City brightened up the holiday season last night, lighting the giant Christmas tree in Rockefeller Plaza. The tree lighting has taken place every year since 1933. The 76-foot Norway spruce sported 45,000 lights. There is a 9-foot tall star on the top. The tree is about 75 years old. It was grown in Connecticut and will be displayed until January 7th. My goodness, and you thought the getting to the top of your Christmas tree to put your yeah. uh, star up there was a hassle. That's Imagine right. that, nine, nine feet. foot star. Which, wow. And it doesn't, yeah, it looks kind of small it looks up there. tiny. What would you say, what was that little tidbit you had where uh, they're going to take the wood after they use the tree, they're going to recycle it for the, Habitat for Humanity? Habitat for Humanity, that's right. So it's going to be, it's going to a good cause all the way around after 75 years of being good. a good old tree to Connecticut. Good to hear. Absolutely. Get more news anytime at ABCNews.com. I'm Diana Perez. I'm John Muller. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it. Every day, more Americans choose ABC News, America's number one news source.